Celebrate Norway. Yeah. Yay! Look fun. Oh, <laughs> Happy birthday in Norway! It's cloudy but it's, yeah, it's warm. Really hot. Oh they got ice cream. Wait, you were almost attacked by a seagull. Wool dress. Yeah. Oof. Wool dress. Yeah. <coughs> There's a word for this wool dress. It's called bunad. Wait, Buna is yeah, both cold. male and female. Yeah. In case you're wondering what Norwegians do on 17th of May, they go in... in uh, what is it called? I don't know. Like... What's that word? And also it's very important to eat lots of uh, wiener hot dogs and ice cream. This is tradition, like this, this is Norwegian culture. It's great. It's, it's actually the best day. Oh, there. Yeah. You drink alcohol, you eat lots of food, and boom, you're happy. Shit, there's a lot of people here. It just basically you just follow. Hello. Hello. We have something that's called rus. Rus. You don't turn that into an English word because it's Norwegian, and it's called rus with a hard R. Basically what that is, it's uh, seniors that are celebrating their last year at uh, high school. So they're celebrating that they're done with 13 years of school. On 17th of May, the rust also plays a big part because after 17th of May, there's no more rust. Like that's the last day of uh, the the rest, rest time, the final day. And they also go in trains. Rustetog. <laughs> Okay, and that's what we're trying to see. I think it starts up at 3 o'clock. What time is it? I think it's like... Waiting, I think we're just looking. gonna have to follow the rust, but I also want a beer. Because yeah. I'm starting to sober up and that's not a good feeling. It's not a good thing. It's not a good feeling. <laughs> I don't want to sober up. And also, the Rus has cards. Like, they make their own cards. They look like this. And uh, children obsess over a card. They collect them, and it's always is a competition about like who can gain the most rust cards. Um, it's not allowed with public drinking, so you gotta be in like a pub or in a bar to be able to drink it. But rules are a little bit uh, different when it's the national day because Norwegian culture is very much based upon drinking and the more you drink the better. In Stavanger at least, that people come here with boats yeah. and because they come here with boats and they sit in their own boats, they can drink as much as they want. Yeah. Complete. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Norway's uh, Constitution Day. What what is it really about? Is it about drinking? Is it about celebrating Norway's history? Or is it about just having a day off? My thoughts. It's a combination of everything. Like a celebration day where you celebrate Norway becoming a like independent country. It's a day where you celebrate with your family and friends that unite each other. 
yeah, it's pretty much it. Day off. So Norway was a part. We were owned by Denmark. We were part of Denmark, basically. And then we we broke free, like uh, a Miley Cyrus song. We just broke free, and we were lib ri liberal. Yeah. <laughs> National food of 17th of May, so I think we're gonna have to eat that. Yeah. How's the celebration been? Drunk? I'm drunk. Yeah. And hungry. As you should be. Yeah. You look very happy. I'm very happy. Well, I'm drunk. Yeah. It's all. It's the best time to Ooh. buy donuts. Yeah. There's really no other right time to buy donuts than when you're happily drunk. Yeah. So I'm just gonna celebrate the last hours I have before I have to go to bed. Just celebrate it with food that you're gonna make. <laughs> and uh, some delicious donuts. So it's like... Oh. I'm back. Mm-hmm.